look at old films, you know, what they call 1940s and 50s B films. You saw people, didn't you, being arrested normally by one single policeman, perhaps two. Remember those great TV shows like Scotland Yard or Fabian of the Yard, that sort of stuff. And it was a real shame, wasn't it, to be arrested, to be, you know, basically felt by the collar, as they said, by the British police or wherever you were in the world. And then you were put up in front of a judge. It was a brilliant film made in the early 60s, starring a very good friend of mine, Jess Conrad, called The Boys. It was all about young boys in Ballstall and getting into prison. But there was a brilliant scene in it, played by the splendid actor Richard Todd, who was the judge, you know, the barrister. Guess what, though, in 2022, very soon you won't have to call judges sir or madam. That's right. Even that's now been dumbed down not to offend anyone. Truly, are they forgetting that these people are actually criminals? As ever, let me explain. That's right, the Lord Chief Justice has decided that they get, need to be coming a little bit more modern, you know, a little bit in with the crowd, as it were. So you won't necessarily have to refer to someone as judge or my lord or stuff like that. It's ridiculous, isn't it, when you think? Because again, you have to look at why we have such rising crime. There's simply no respect for authority. But when that authority is taken away, and if you only have to look at the problems that the British Metropolitan Police have. I was talking to a very senior officer at Downing Street recently, who told me part of the problem with crime here in the United Kingdom is simply this. Half of the people in the police force have been there just under five years. There's simply no canteens for these people to go and get a quick snack or a bite to eat while they're out on the beat on duty. Now you might think, well, why is that a problem? Well then, of course, when they're snapped going into a cafe or McDonald's, people are saying, why are they having a break? They're allowed a break, but now it's made very public. The other problem, of course, is this. There's nowhere for them to do their job, you know. They've literally shut down so many police stations because, you know, they're literally on the run, as it were, running around all the time. Not only that, get this. Where, say, a murder account may be one or twice a week, he openly admitted that could be up to seven a night and they don't have the resources, in fact, to deal with it. So by judges deciding to dumb down their end of the block, as it were, and simply now not being referred to with the respect that many people felt they should have been given, isn't this making it easier for criminals, bad people, murderers, rapists, gangsters, to really play the system? I mean, where is truly the respect? And more importantly, when you look at the prison records and how many people were now putting into prisons and releasing because we don't have the space, is it any wonder that crime is on the rise? Here in London, it literally is rising daily. So many stabbings, so many you know, people being mugged on the street in broad daylight. All the while, the person in charge of that, the person leading this once great capital city, Sadiq Khan, says nothing. He's too busy helping to promote his climate book. That's right, Neil Sean in the very heart of London.